Hello. Happy Wednesday. It is 8 o'clock in the morning and I don't have my glasses on because I'm about to head out to the train. And usually when I do that, you know you guys have seen me in the daytime. <laughs> I'm wearing my sunglasses. So, um, I feel much better. Slept last night somewhat peacefully. Luna always wakes me up at some point. But um, going into the office today, I had hot water. I have showered again. <laughs> Cold showers are the worst. Ugh. I, I'll tell you a quick story. So, I'm not the most domestic person in the world, as you may have guessed. Meaning, I don't, I don't deal with household things very, very well. Like, I pay the bills, you know. Um, but I don't think about necessarily wow well, what's going on there anyway um certain stuff so my husband and i were living in this one house and i paid the bills you know power bill whatever water and one day our hot water wouldn't come on and so i was telling him you know the hot water's not working so he goes and checks the the heater the gas heater and he said did you pay the gas bill and I said, what gas bill? When we moved in, I didn't even think about the fact that you that I had to get the gas put in my name. But it was on. So it was on for, I don't know, gosh, six months or something. <clears throat> so I um, I called up the gas company and I said, I, it seems that our gas has been turned off. Well, yeah, you haven't paid your bill. I said, well, how much is it? Well, it's like 95 bucks, which 95 bucks. Okay. I said, well, I'll take care of that right now. Um, you know, when can the gas be back on? Well, they cut it off in the ground. They cut it off at the main is what she said. But it, they had dug up outside of our house and turned off the gas there. And I noticed there were construction people. I mean, I definitely noticed that because they were digging up the street. So the whole point of all that was we didn't have hot water and so I had to take cold showers. Well then at some point I just said I'm not going to take cold showers anymore and I would get up in the morning and go up to my mom's who was 15-20 minutes away and take a shower and then go uh, to work. <laughs> because cold showers are horrible. And if there were ever an apocalypse and we I, we didn't have cold or we didn't have showers, warm showers, I mean obviously I would take a shower, but I would be miserable. <laughs> All right, that's your morning wisdom <laughs> from Creepy Corners. Um, I will talk to you guys this evening. Hello. Well, it is Thursday morning and I did not vlog. Hey, Luna's trying to get my attention. I didn't vlog any. Uh, more yesterday so jump to Thursday um I don't really the, the reason I didn't vlog anymore yesterday not too terribly much to talk about other than um so don't don't do it I wonder if she'll do it yeah. what are you doing What's going on? You want pets? She said she wants love. Oh, she wants love. Okay. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so this is my. Oh man. I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend like I'm talking just for a minute because I want you to see her do this. See if I can get her, capture her on video doing this. But um, yesterday, we, uh, I came home and my mouse cord is really long. And so Luna came in here and she got her little head in the mouse cord and went absolutely berserk. Didn't you? <laughs> She did. She, she, see, my mouse cord is really long and she got her little self caught up in it and she lost her mind 
And she like ran amok, <laughs> was just bouncing off stuff and knocking things over. And then as soon as it got off of her, she just stopped and turned around and she says, meow. And I'm like, yeah, you just lost your mind. Not you psycho. Psycho nut job, aren't you? You psycho. Anyway, <laughs> that was the most exciting thing that happened to me yesterday. <laughs> um, Dogs barking, yay. I'd much rather hear a dog barking than what was going on up here the first two days of this week. But I'm about to, uh, I'm trying to finish up my coffee and then I'm gonna head out and hit the train and get to work. Great. And then, look, I have, my coat is long, and I'm, I know that sounds like a weird thing to start out saying, but I have a long coat that I've been wearing for days because it's been cold. It's been really cold. And I just went to put on a pair of my pants because, you know, I don't wash my jeans every day. Um, I kind of, you know, switch off. I have several pairs of jeans, but I, switch, I started to switch off, and the pair of jeans that I was, that, that was going to pick up had something on the leg I don't I don't know what it was <laughs> I'm a little bit scared to try to find out so I'm not gonna find out I'm just gonna wash them but how does that even happen it was up close to my hip where it was ew anyway all right um I'm gonna try to get on here this evening and do a little a little more vloggy and say hi and stuff but Hopefully nothing too terribly exciting happens today, unless it's good, unless it's a good exciting. All right, talk to you guys later. Hello. <clears throat> so just got finished eating dinner, of course. I am at my apartment. Of course. I do have crazy hair, of course. <laughs> um, so tonight for dinner I had Vietnamese spring rolls, which I absolutely love. And there's a place right up the street that I just found that had it. And then there I had uh, tofu and broccoli, which was okay. I probably won't get it again, but it was okay. And, and, remember that guy I was telling you about from the train? That was saying crazy stuff to people and he was like, um, you know, are you mad at your mom because she lied to you about Santa Claus? That guy? I saw him. I've seen him twice since then. So he lives near me. I mean, I figured he lived near, near me anyway because he got on that same train station. But he lives in one of the buildings very close to me, if not my own building. <laughs> I don't want to see him anymore. And I passed right by him tonight. I mean, he was going this way and I was going that way. And he had, and it's nighttime and he had really dark sunglasses on. So I'm sure he's going up to the stores to harass someone. S several someones probably. So anyway, I wanted to say hi to my new... I've got a horse in my house, a little tiny horse. I want to say hi to our new friends. <clears throat> I said I was t I would say hi because I forgot everybody's name last time. <laughs> and I don't want you to be too sad if I haven't watched your videos yet. I will be watching your videos. What is going on? Yeah. All right, so Bandit Girly, she's been subscribed to me for a long time except it just says three weeks ago um i'm not sure what's up with that but i assume youtube does weird stuff so that's what it is um ut cooking is from a week ago welcome and uh so far it's exactly what it sounds like cooking videos and it seems like really good stuff so um Kaylin Strain. So she does sort of a variety, it looks like, of videos. You know, some survival stuff, um, some mail calls, stuff like that. Uh, I've only watched really a couple videos, so 
Um, welcome to you. Um, David's fish tanks is what I was trying to think of the other day, <laughs> but I couldn't. Um, Texas Little Star, or it's TX Little Star. Of course, I'll put links in the description so you guys can go visit these folks. Um, the only thing I've really seen of hers is uh, a video about getting into um, a green cup club and a green cup society. So, <clears throat> Grand Lake Bass Hunter. Now, you are brand new as of three days ago. And I have not watched any of your videos yet. I didn't know that you were subscribed. <laughs> and then 22 hours ago, Rusty Faith uh, came over and said, Hey, I'm curious if somebody shouted me out somewhere. <laughs> because normally the people who subscribe to me are people that I subscribe to. And then we talk back and forth and stuff. So I'm very curious about that. Uh, and then back to Bandit Girly. So like I said... She and I have known each other for, gosh, eight or nine years, I guess. And um, she does all kinds of different videos, cosplay and um, vlogs and makeup tutorials and all kinds of stuff like that. So um, did I mention Abraham Fungus for president and Kim Williams? Okay, well, I'm mentioning you anyway. <laughs> um, Kim Williams, I think I did mention you. But anyway, um, so I'll list out these people in the description and I'll put a link to their channel down below so you can go say hi. And if you watch and you like them and you subscribe, tell them Creepy Corners sent ya. So how was your day? My day was, well, <laughs> craziness. And, and nothing necessarily to talk about really just there was a lot going on even though there wasn't much going on but there was a lot going on so um so yeah not too much to talk about talked about my dinner it's already at five minutes um talked about our new creepy popals and if you don't know what i'm talking about you should go and look back at a couple of videos but well a couple a few quite a few videos back um and yeah that's really all i got it didn't snow in Chicago today. It's supposed to snow tonight. Um, just a little bit, like a rain-snow mix. It was cold. I had a phone call, a personal phone call today, and I stood outside and talked on the phone for about 30 minutes. And my hand, so I had this hand with a glove on, and I had this hand holding the phone, and this hand was frozen. <laughs> But really nothing nothing too terribly exciting to talk about other than that um so i'm gonna let you go i hope you had a great thursday and i hope you have some super cool plans for the weekend um so have a great night or day or whatever wherever you are <laughs> and i'll see you guys definitely this weekend but probably tomorrow all right bye